Welcome back all. It's been a while because I've been working up north, but we're here today for another video on the East-West Rail. So let's get into it. For those of you that don't know, the East-West Rail is a new strategic rail link connecting the central, western and southern bits of England to East Anglia. Specifically, it's re-establishing the link between Oxford and Cambridge via Vista, Aylesbury, Bletchley, Milton Keynes and Bedford. It's similarly known to the previous Varsity Line which used to connect Oxford and Cambridge together. It will then go on to use existing track connecting to Norwich, Ipswich and even Felixstone potentially. So why is this such an important rail link? Well, previously when you lived in the west of England and you wanted to get to Essex, say, you'd have to go through London or take about three local trains that were very slow. This, along with the already congested network around London, meant that a new fast rail link, avoiding the capital completely, was probably the solution. It will also connect various main lines heading up north and, in all, improve connectivity. As of now, the east-west main line is split into three distinct sections. The western section, which is partially complete, is operating between Oxford and Bedford, intersecting with the Chiltern, West Coast and Midland main lines. Phase one of the western section was completed in December 2016 and consisted of the upgrading of the lines between Oxford and Vista. This allowed Chiltern services to run directly from Marlebone to Oxford. Phase two, on the other hand, involves slightly more work which is the re-establishing of the line between Vista and Bedford. This will also provide a connection between Aylesbury and Milton Keynes. And this was approved by the Secretary of State on the 4th of February 2020, meaning that it was partially funded and construction could go ahead. The central section will link Bedford and Cambridge together. And in 2019, five alternate routes were considered. A preferred route was considered which allowed travel from Bedford, south of the St. Neots Thamesford area, possibly connecting with Sandy on the West Coast Main Line, to then Camebourne and then Cambridge. So this hopefully should come in the next few years. The eastern section is the final bit of the puzzle, and this involves the upgrading of lines from Cambridge to Ipswich, possibly Felixstone and Norwich. And this is to allow more trains to travel an hour. In terms of service patterns, we can only assume what will happen. But the Department for Transport has actually put a couple sources out suggesting the service pattern for the western section at least. And this is how it's looking. There will be two trains an hour between Oxford and Milton Keynes, with an hourly service also running between Aylesbury and Milton Keynes. There will also be an hourly service from Oxford to Bedford, which I assume will extend once the central and eastern bits get constructed. There is also one sentence which actually says that there will be Cambridge to Bletchley services running, which does make sense since it's about halfway. So, other facts you might not know about the project. Well, it actually originated by Ipswich Borough Council in 1995, and it was only in 2011 when um, they actually got approval for the project and it was put into the government's national rail strategy. It's now in 2020, and I can tell you that the phase two of the western bit has been approved, and that's 15 years down the road. In all, I'm pretty sure that this project will get built. It's extremely important in terms of connecting people, economic growth, and the tens and thousands of houses they're gonna build due to this new rail link. It's also a much needed relief line from London. It's not clear who's actually gonna be operating these services. I assume it's gonna be East Midlands or Chiltern and it'll just be added onto their contract. However, it's entirely possible a new operator will be running this route. I'm not sure if any of you guys actually know who is operating this in the future. I guess we'll have to keep an eye on it in the meantime. Anyway guys, keep safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.